So here in this lecture, I am going to talk about electromagnetic theory of dispersion. Under this, I will cover the topic, the total external reflection, where the frequency is a very large, frequency of the incident radiation is very large, uh, which is equivalent to that of uh, our X-rays. So for this, that means I am going to discuss the case at the very high frequencies. And it is relating to earlier lecture. So consider the case at very high frequencies. Where omega is very much greater than omega k. At this case, refractive index. Tends to unity. but remains less than unity. So let us see how this happened. So as we know from earlier lecture that n is equal to 1 plus 2 pi n e square over m summation over k f of k divided by omega k square minus omega square. So I have considered the case that omega is very much greater than omega k. This is the case which I considered. Now, if omega square, this that means omega square is greater than omega k square. So that means omega square minus omega k square is positive quantity, but we are having this quantity and this is sitting in the denominator. So using this, we can say that this is a negative quantity. So that means this is a negative quantity. And this negative quantity is a very large. This is sitting in the denominator and we know that omega k is very much greater. Sorry, omega is uh, The negative quantity and this quantity because out of these two quantities one quantity is very large so this makes denominator a large quantity or the large number so that means if I reconsider this If I consider this again, so that means this is a quantity which is negative and denominator is large. So this makes this whole of the term very small. 
nearly zero as denominator is large and a negative quantity so that means this refractive index is nearly equal to 1 but slightly less than less than 1 slightly less than 1 this is a very important uh, thing which is happening so that means for the case when omega is very large that means we are considering a ultraviolet wave for example like x-rays whose frequency is very large then what this how this affects that means when x-rays pass through dielectric or optically dense medium other than vacuum then for such a case total intern total external reflection may occur and this phenomena is observed experimentally for x-rays this particular phenomena observed experimentally for x-rays that means optically denser medium seems to be less denser than vacuum when x-rays pass through it that means the conclusion optical denser medium seems to be less denser than vacuum when x-rays pass through them and this leads to the study of metamaterials but this is beyond the scope of this course so i'm simply talking about this so let us briefly uh, look at that what happens to x-rays and the visible light when it is passed through some dielectric So this is the normal and so light is made incident on it. This is the incident light. and this is the actual path of it and similarly I will draw the incident light from here and this is the actual path
so here let me call this just here the vacuum is n is equal to 1 refractive index for vacuum here is also 1 and here let me call it as and here the refractive index is less than 1 let me call it as n1 this is n1 and let me call it as n2 this refractive index is less than 1 only seems to be when x-rays are passed through it and here in other words I can say that for x-rays the n2 is less than n1 and here n2 is greater than 1 here I am throwing x-rays over and here it is a visible light so that means what will happen this gets reflected it will get reflected in this direction in this way and it will also be reflected in this way but as it is less so that means it will move away from the normal that's what will happen to the x-ray here and here it will move towards the normal so that's what will happen this is for the x-ray and this is for uh, visible light so that means it is x-ray incident and it is coming in this direction and it is reflected so it is reflected x-ray <coughs> and here it is refracted x-ray and similarly it is incident visible light and it is reflected and it is refracted visible light so that's what should happen to this uh, light also for x-rays omega is very much greater than omega k so that means omega k square minus omega square nearly equal to minus omega square therefore refractive index can be written as 2 pi n e square over m 1 over omega square summation f of k so this is a mathematical expression for uh, x-rays or the for the radiation whose uh, frequency is a very large so thanks for watching this video and here we are getting a very interesting concept